Kia ora, welcome to Toy Hall My Library. This video will show you how to locate and access information from an ebook on the CCH ebook collection database. This database is a collection of legal and taxation textbooks. These are freely available to staff and students of Toy Hall My Institute of Technology. All the titles on this database have an unlimited license, so you can access every time. Please log into your library account using your Toy or My login and password if not currently logged onto one of the Institute's computers. Please click Databases. From the list, please click See. Then choose CCH eBooks. This will take you the, to the platform for CCH eBook database. Please click Sign In. Once you are into the database, you are able to search for a specific textbook by typing the title into the search bar. You can click Start Browsing, or you can select from the books that are highlighted below. Once you have selected the book, it will take you into the details relating to that item. It will provide you with a brief overview of what the book actually includes. If this is the book that you are looking for, please click Borrow. Then, please click Read. Once you click Read, the entire ebook will be downloaded into the system that you are using. You are able to search in this book in multiple ways. One of them is using the table of contents and the other is using the search function. First, we will show you table of contents. From the list of table of contents, you can select the chapter that you are looking to read. You can move within this book at any stage, so you can go forward or back. The first time that you go into the book, a pop-up box will provide you with the option of changing the background colour as well as the font style. If you are happy with what is provided, just close this box. If you are wanting to search for a specific piece of information, click on the search icon and enter what it is that you are looking for. All the results that relate to the, your search will appear within this pop-up. You can scroll down the list to identify the information that is the most relevant for what you are looking for. If you, once you have found that, just click on the blue hyperlink and this will take you to that specific section within the ebook. If you have located a piece of information that you would like to use for your assessment or as a reminder of that information to use at a later date, you are able to highlight this and add a note relating to that information. To do this, move the cursor to the first part of what you would like to copy. Click, hold down, so you can highlight the text. Click the pop-up highlight option. Add your note if you wish. You can change the colour of the highlighter if you wish. Then click the tick. Please be aware that once you've changed the colour, any future highlighting will default to that colour. To manually move between the book, you can use the side arrows to go forward or back. You can also use the arrows at the bottom of the page. Once you've finished with the book, click the back arrow. If you would like to search for another book, you can click Library, and again you can go Start Browsing or Search Function. If you want to see what you currently have on loan, you can click on Loans. All the books you currently have on loan will be displayed and it will tell you when the book will expire. If you want to be able to locate your notes and highlights, please scroll down and under account click my notes and highlights. On this page 
you will find the books that you have on loan that you've added notes and highlights. Note will be at the top of the box and the text that you have highlighted will be below that. You can remove that by clicking on the X. This is also how you can locate information from books that you may have returned off your account. Although the book is off your account, your notes and highlights remain. If you need help to search or access a specific resource, please contact the library for help. Contact details are located on the library page. You can contact us by emailing, phoning us, or popping into one of our two locations. If you would like to sit down with a faculty librarian to take you through this database, please email the library for help. In the email, please include your name, how you would like to be helped, the course you're currently enrolled on, which campus you are based on, or whether you're a distance student. This all helps us to help you. A librarian will get back in contact with you as soon as they possibly can.